Hello Morris class, Miss Bake here and welcome to your first science lesson for this week, week beginning the 11th of January and today is the 11th of January 2021. So let's go through our learning objective. Can I find a way to remember the names and order of the planets? And this is a lovely, beautiful picture of planet Earth. Okay, so what is in space? This week, we will find out. Now, you should have already watched this video, this one right here. Um, it was in our last science lesson, okay? So if you have not watched that video yet, you need to stop this video right now, go on to your last science lesson video, watch that video, which is in the description box there is a link you need to click that and watch it and then you need to come back and resume this video okay so if you haven't already watched this video exploring our solar system go and do that now okay now this video is all about our solar system and the planets in it after watching that video Talk to your teddy. What is something that you learned which you found interesting about our solar system? So pause the video here and talk to your teddy. OK, I have been hearing some fantastic, fantastic suggestions. Well done, Morris class. OK, so. For us in year two, the most important aspect, I mean, the most important part of our solar system that needs remembering is the order of the planets. OK, so an order of the planets means which one is first. There's eight all together. Eight. So which one is one? Which one is number two? Which one is number three from a four and so on? OK, so we are going to look at some a few ways of remembering the order that they go in. OK. And it starts from, the order starts from the planet that is closest to the sun, okay? Closest to the sun. So from left to right. So here is the sun, the closest to the sun, okay? So which planet is the closest to the sun? Which one is number one? Well done, it's Mercury, Mercury. Well done, fantastic. Okay, this right here, all these pictures are called a mnemonic. Mnemonic. It is a way of remembering something tricky using the letter or the first letter in a word for a list and making it into a silly sentence. This can help you with spelling or remembering longer lists. For example, a mnemonic that you may already know is this is how you spell because big elephants can always understand small elephants. So when you're saying the sentence, each word in the sentence, the first letter of each word, it spells it. Look, big, so you've got B, then you've got elephants. Oh, let me write this down. Let's see. I, I don't think you'll be able to see this, but we're going to give it a go. Okay, let me get my... Okay. So as I'm saying it, I'm going to write it down. Ready? Let's make my screen a bit bigger first so you can actually see what I'm doing. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to do it here. Now let's see if it works. So big, big, big. I want to spell the word because. So I'm going to write it up here. I'm going to, this is how I'm going to, I'm going to write because up here. Okay, this is how we spell because now. Okay, so this is our silly sentence that we're going to be reading out. Big, right, so if I turn this around this way, right, big, oh, I see. Elephants, L, E, big elephants, 
Okay. Can. Can. Always. Always. Okay. Big elephants can always understand. Uh, n, n, d, st, a, n, d. Big, big elephants can always understand. What's, what does the S stand for? S small. Small. And then the last one is elephants. Okay, let's have a look now. So this is a mnemonic. Mnemonic. Okay, and it's an easy way. It's a little sentence that we can use to understand. Um, sorry, to remember how to spell because. So big, b, big, e, elephants, k, can, a, always, a, understand, s, small, e, elephants. But we are not learning how to spell because in this science video, I was just showing you how we can use that mnemonic, okay? So you've, we've done a two in one. You've learned how to spell because, and now you're going to learn the order of the planets. So let's see a few different versions of, that's the same because, Ooh, right, here we go. So what you are going to do, this is the order of the planets. Remember, the closest to the sun. So the first planet that's closest to the sun is Mercury. Mercury. Next, the second one is Venus. Venus. The third one is our planet, Earth. Earth. Then we have the fourth planet is Mars. Mars. Then we have the fifth planet is Jupiter. Jupiter. Our sixth planet is Saturn. Saturn. Our seventh planet is Uranus. Uranus and our eighth and final planet within our solar system is Neptune. Neptune. Now we need to re remember it in this order. So Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Uranus, Neptune. So we need to remember it in that order. Now, can you read this mnemonic right here? This is look, we've got M for Mercury, V for Venus, E for Earth. M mm, for Mars. Now there are two M's. There are two M's because we have two planets that start with a M, mm, and that is Mercury and Mars. Right. We've got J, J, Jupiter. We've got S, Saturn, A, uh, A, uh, Uranus, N, N, Neptune. Okay. Now this is quite a famous uh, mnemonic. This is one of the most famous mnemonics. I mean, your mummies and daddies might have learned it a different way, which they can share with you as well, as long as it doesn't include net Pluto, because when your mummies and daddies were in, in school, Pluto was classed as one of the, the, our ninth planet. But I'll move on to that into the next slide. So as long as it does not include Pluto, and it's just um, the eight planets that you see on the screen over here in this order. So one of the mnemonics is, my very excited mother just served us nachos. We could do it like this. My very excited mother just served us nachos. My very excited mother just served us nachos. Your turn, go. All together now. My very excited mother just served us nachos. My very excited mother just served us nachos. Well done. I think you're getting it now. And then we need to say Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. Okay, now you can keep remi reminding this. I could go on and on and sing it all day. You know, I love to sing, even though I can't sing. I'm a, I am a professional shower singer, but I try my best. Rewind it so you can watch me doing my little singy songy bit. Um, and that's one way to learn it, okay? You don't have to follow this mnemonic, but this is the easiest one for me. Or we have mad Vikings enjoy making jam sandwiches up north. 
Mad Vikings enjoy making jam sandwiches up north. So Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. OK, <laughs> that's going to be stuck in your head, isn't it? Which is exactly what I want. So fantastic. It's working. <laughs> or you could use this mnemonic. Mad Vikings enjoy making jam sandwiches up north. OK, now I'm going to allow you a couple of minutes to have a look at these two mnemonics that we have on the screen. OK, so remember, mnemonics is just like a silly, it's a, um, a series or like a silly sentence to help us remember an order of things or how to spell words. So what was the one for because again? Big elephants. What was it? Big elephants can always understand small elephants. Well done. So now you know how to spell because if you were struggling with that word and hopefully you should be um, very, very close to ordering all of the planets in order from number one to number eight. So we do, we're doing really well, Morris class. We're doing fantastic. <laughs> right. OK, so mad Vikings enjoy making jam sandwiches up north or my very excited mother just served us nachos. Put your hand up if you love nachos. I mean, I'll put two up because I love me some good nachos. OK. It's, you've just had your lunch. OK, I don't want to make you hungry again. Let's move on. Let's move on, Morris. OK, now, some of you might be thinking, but what about Pluto? Now, some of your mummies and daddies when they were in school and even when I was in school, um, Pluto was still part of our solar system. So it was recognised as our ninth planet. OK, so this was before 2006. So I'll read the, the text out to you at the top. Before 2006, there was a ninth planet that was part of our solar system. This planet didn't disappear. It is still there. However, astronomers, so those are scientists that study the planets, astronomers changed the definition of a planet and believed that Pluto didn't have a strong enough gravitational pull. OK, so what that means is, that within our solar system, okay, within our just Earth solar system, Pluto was too far away from the sun and also it didn't have enough gravitational force, okay, so it didn't suck up enough things around it. Now, the definition is quite complicated, but this is the simplest way that, uh, that I'm presenting it to you. If you would like further information, then please feel free to visit um, any website on Google, on Google, just type in why is Pluto a dwarf planet? And I'm sure you'll get all of the information. Um, that's not your homework. I'm not setting you any additional tasks. That's only if you feel like you would you want to discover more about Pluto. So Pluto was part of our solar system. It is no longer part of our uh, solar system. It does still exist. But now Pluto is uh, the um, it's called a dwarf planet, dwarf planet. There you go. So it looks like a, uh, it's, a, it's a planet, but it's just a very small planet. OK. Okie dokie. Now that we have cleared any uh, potential misconception, you, your task now, Morris class, you are going to create a mnemonic for remembering the order of the planets. Now, there are loads of possibilities. All you need to do is you need to, just like Miss Baig did, with the because, I'm going to show you what you will, what you guys will potentially do. You are going to, right, let's see. I'm just going to, hang on a minute. I am literally, hang on, uh, six, count with me, seven. Well done. Right, what is planet number one? Right, I'll write, just tell me the first letter. What was that, sorry? Mmm, well done. What's the next one then? While I'm writing, you tell me. V, well done. What's the next one, please? Eh, eh, okay, thank you. Next one? Mmm, well done. Next? J, okay. Next? S. Next one? Ah, uh, okay. Next one, last one, last one. 
Mm, well done. Now, this is what you are going to do on your piece of paper. So if you don't have that already, Morris class, I would like you to pause the video here and go and grab your piece of paper, please. So off you go and something to write with. Off you go. Welcome back. Now, your paper should look something similar to this. First, I'm going to stop sharing for a moment. And there you go. Your paper should look something like this, nice and big so everybody can see. I'm over here. I'm over here now. Now I'm on this side. Okay, and now I'm going to start sharing again. So that is what your paper should be looking like, Morris class. You are going to create your own mnemon uh, mnemonic. Okay, now it could be something like, it could be, and now are you put me on the spot now? Now I won't be able to think of anything. It might be um, Mr. Um, vinegar eats Mars. Oh, I, I was about to say Mars bars. Just seconds under. I've forgotten one now. Under. Uh, help me, help me, help me, Morris class. Um, it's just a silly sentence. Under. Uh, 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 um, a nest. Nest. There we go. Something really silly, but do read it back so it makes sense. I just literally made that up right now. OK, maybe I should have brought some pre-examples, but never mind. OK, that is your special job number one. Next, after you have done that and you have uploaded it onto Tapestry, like I'm 100% sure you will. Then you are going to watch a video of Mr. Um, it might be Mr. Watkins, I'm not sure yet. Look, so you're going to look in the description box below on how to make this book. Okay, so once you have done your rough copy, then you are going to create and you're happy with it. You are then going to create a book. So, and it's going to look something similar to this. Order of the planets you're going to have on the side. And then it's going to be folded in half. So maybe I could show you with this one, maybe, not sure. Let's see. Let's see if I can show you with this one. Oh, it might work. You never know. I don't have a scissor here, but dun, 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 dun. good old ripping technique will do. You can hear the ripping the in the video, can't you? <laughs> okay, I'll only do three, otherwise I'll be here for, for eternity. Right, order of the planet. So down the side, you're going to have Order of the, oh, that didn't come out very nicely. Order of the planets, right. I'll start sharing then so you can have a big screen. You, there is a video of this, but I'm also showing you guys. Okay, so it's going to look something like this. This is going to be your, ooh, this is going to be your book. So I've got order of the planets on the side, and then it's like this, and then, you're going to use a scissor. If you don't have a scissor, rip it like I did. And then when you open it up, it's a book, you're going to see that number one, number one is Mercury. And then you're going to have your mnemonic sentence written here. So it might be that short, we'll just stick to my very educated, uh, sorry, my very, um, what was it now? My very excited mother just served us nachos. You could, you could also use my very educated mother just served us nachos. So, my, then you will have for Mercury, very, and then you will have educated. But this is all in a video. I was just also showing you guys. So please do click on the link in the description box below to that video. And your extension after that is, do you know any facts about the solar system which you can record and share with us? It can be recorded orally, so you talking, and whilst you're an adult records you to upload onto Tapestry. So you don't have to write it down, you can say it orally as well. Challenge number three. Okay, for a super tricky challenge on planets, I have added top trumps 
Craft Tapestry with instructions on how to play. So make sure you have a go at this if you can. All of the instructions are on one of the cards. So have a look onto Tapestry. Mr. Watkins has uploaded um, a post and please do have fun. Maybe uh, someone can take a picture of you um, having a go at the top trunks. So have fun. Just to recap, your tasks, because I think I've waffled a little bit and not actually got down to the nitty gritty. You will be creating your own mnemonic, okay? The order of the planets closest to the sun and then furthest away. Then you will watch the video in the description box below to a link on how to create your own mnemonics book, Order of the Planets book. Then as a challenge three, you will be going onto Tapestry and having a go at how to play these top trump cards. So good luck, Morris class, have fun, and please do enjoy creating your own mnemonics. It is such a fun way to learn uh, an order of something or how to do some spellings of tricky words. So thank you very much for watching. We have come to the end. Take care and I'll see you in the next video. Bye Morris class.